from New York City, Marty McConnell. At the millennial rolling over point, baby boomer one-time hippies turned parents all across these United States groan. When we said you can be anything, we meant you could be a brain surgeon or a genetic engineer or a district attorney. We didn't mean you should become a poet. But it was dad who taught that the call of my wild heart rings as valid as any voice of reason. And it was mom who showed that raging terror of where you're headed is the surest sign you're traveling in the right direction. This is a generation beyond definition. Unconvinced the American dream isn't a fiction of REM sleep. Unpersuaded the better life our parents sought and stake beats an unfamiliar highway. The spotlight's afterburn and half a pack of parliaments. Breastfed on Bob Dylan and the dead, we watched our creators sacrifice their sharp edges to stay within the lines. Small wonder we accept this world as almost fatally flawed, fill the gas tank and race to rant about the wrongs or find the edge of the planet and lean at the lip of the void. We are the changed generation, fitted with the inconsistencies of a millennium in flux. Vagabond lot we skitter one city to the next in seek of an acceptable permanence, a home not in need of so much repair. See our inherited tools, they fit like a Phillips head in a slot top screw. We know that sit-ins end in tear gas and tanks, picket lines in promises and compromises, lobbying in back rooms and bullshit. I might believe in this revolution if one person proved he knew what he was fighting for and how. Because the KKK still erects a cross in Cincinnati's Fountain Square every Christmas. And teenage girls have to balance daddy's fists versus back alleys to secure abortions. And promise keepers fill stadiums while poets play coffee houses. And if I fucked a woman in Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Idaho, Kansas, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, Oklahoma, Virginia, or Utah, I could get anywhere from 30 days to 20 years in jail. And I don't own enough rage for it all. I am 95 miles per hour on I-81, sprinting to trap the tirade, vibrating on the next stage. Is anybody listening? I live in search of a cause worth dying for. It could be this revolution is all mouth and no legs. Because we are a generation of screamers, silenced by this conspiracy of comfort that cradles us voiceless in our PC cities, where only the drunk and the dangerous spill what seethes in so many. I trade crusades like cards, flip issues like channels. Give me a god. Give me a rallying cry. Give me one good reason to die. <laughs>